Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In gear making machines, gears can be produced by cutting, grinding, or a combination of cutting and grinding operations. This process using gear hobbing machine Liebherr 380 to 500. Gear hobbing machines use a rotating, multiple tooth cutting tool called a hob for generating teeth on spur gears, worm gears, helical gears, splines, and sprockets. More gears are cut hobbing than by other methods because the hobbing cutter cuts continuously and produces accurate gears at high production rates. This is Coramil 170 machine a high-performance cutter for machining of large gears in module range 12 to 22. It will reduce time in your gear machining, leaving minimal and even allowance for subsequent operations. Right now, we're at the SMS Group Factory. Here, we will explore the production process of the drive system used in steel-making plants and rolling mills. The product range includes main drive gears, mill pinion gears, twin drive gear units, flexible gear type spindles, slipper type spindles, tilting drives, and more. The gear components are developed and manufactured in-house at their workshop in Germany. They have invested in modern machinery and use modern techniques such as fully mechanized submerged arc welding and ultrasonic testing to fabricate gears with a module up to 40 and a diameter up to 6 meters. This is a double helical spur gear weighing approximately 45 metric tons and with a diameter of 4.5 meters. After case hardening grinding of the tooth flanks on the profile grinder, the finished gears are subjected to high precision tests on a separate gear measuring machine. The gear housing surrounds and protects the gears in the drive system. It is produced in-house at the SMS workshop. The gear contact pattern adjusted using eccentrics leaves the gear contact pattern and the clearance of the tubing can be precisely adjusted with a computer-aided program. The twin drive gearbox features two separate drive inputs that allow for a more flexible and efficient drive system. The gearbox is designed to provide high torque transmission with minimal noise and vibration. Its compact design enables it to be installed in tight spaces, making it a versatile solution for different types of machinery and equipment. Alaris Aluminum, located in Koblenz, Germany, recently underwent a significant upgrade to their drivetrain system. The company replaced their old system with a new, state-of-the-art twin-drive gearbox supplied by SMS Group. The installation process was efficient and completed in just a few days, minimizing any disruption to the company's operations. 
SMS Group mounted the new drive and the motors on a foundation block and moved this block. After completing all function tests successfully to the position of the old drive unit which had meanwhile been dismantled. The installation of the new twin drive gearbox at Alaris Aluminum has significantly improved the company's drivetrains and positions them for continued success in the future. The slabs are continuously fed into the plant from the furnaces, undergo descaling and then are sized in the slab sizing press. The different finished strip widths are based on one width allowing the casting machines to work efficiently and productively. Additionally, the slabs can be rolled down during hot charging, saving energy and increasing throughput. The mill is designed with energy efficiency and high quality production in mind. The two high reversing stand guarantees a significant reduction in thickness, while the four high roughing stand with edger reduces procurement times by expanding the supplier's range of products. The China Steel Company with around 8 to 2,500 employees, relocated its production to Hebei province in northeastern China. SMS Group played a significant role in the relocation by building a modern hot strip mill in Chin for them. The hot strip mill boasts an impressive annual capacity of 4 million metric tons, with a wide range of products including multi-phase steels and high-strength pipe grades up to X18. The strip thickness can range from 1.5 to 19 mm and widths from 750 to 2130 mm. The plant is designed for energy efficiency, with hot charging of slabs possible to save energy and increase throughput. The finishing line is equipped with modern technologies for high product quality, long roll service lives, and efficient and environmentally friendly production. The Edger also has a fully automatic width control system, in combination with a four-high reversing stand, producing ideal transfer bar geometries. The hot strip mill also features a fully automatic roll change system and a lamina strip cooling system, allowing for material properties to be adjusted for different pipe grades. The coils produced in the mill are then sent to banding machines, weighed, marked, and stored in the coiled storage yard, ready for export or further treatment. Carrier Wheels operates in a sprawling facility spanning 540,000 square feet with an impressive annual production capacity of 2 million wheels. The manufacturing plant is equipped with two independent rim and disc lines, capable of producing a diverse array of products measuring up to 38 inches in diameter and 20 inches in width. Utilizing specialized grade and high tensile steel, the plant tailors its manufacturing process to meet specific applications and customer demands. Advanced technologies are employed throughout the production process, starting with decoiling and cut-to-length lines, followed by precision blasting to induce compressive stresses and remove mill scales. The backbone of the rim manufacturing line comprises high-capacity flashback welders, high-speed roll formers, and horizontal flaring and expanders up to 500 tons, along with presses capable of exerting forces up to 1250 tons. Meanwhile, CNC multi-spindle drilling and CNC hub boring machines form the core of the disc lines, ensuring accuracy and efficiency. 
Quality control is paramount at here, with all welding processes executed using automatic CNC-controlled SPMS, special-purpose machines. Every wheel undergoes a meticulous inspection process to guarantee the accuracy of its components before leaving the production lines. The company's state-of-the-art paint shop, under SCADA control, employs a 10-stage pre-treatment method with zinc phosphating and the latest generation of e-coat paint, ensuring lifelong rust resistance for the wheel rims. Additionally, as per customer specifications, wheels can be coated with a liquid top coat in pressurized booths within a dust-free environment to ensure optimal paint quality. The wheel manufacturing process at OTR China, a world-class wheel manufacturer for off-road vehicles, begins with the selection of high-strength, low-alloy structural steel as the raw material. This material is chosen to meet strict mechanical requirements and ensure durability in extreme conditions, in line with the company's commitment to quality and reliability. CC machining is utilized to precisely shape the raw materials into wheel components according to specifications. Specially designed CNC machines ensure uniformity and accuracy in dimensions, vital for the performance and safety of the wheels. The components undergo welding to assemble them into complete wheels. The plant employs advanced welding techniques and high-quality welding wire to create strong and reliable bonds between the components. This step is crucial for maintaining the structural integrity of the wheels, especially under demanding off-road conditions. Once welded, the wheels move to the automated production line where specialized machinery and robotics optimize efficiency and consistency in manufacturing. This automated process streamlines production, ensuring that each wheel meets high standards of quality and precision. Finally, the wheels undergo a high-quality painting process to enhance their appearance and provide protection against corrosion. Experienced technicians oversee this step, adhering to stringent inspection standards to ensure a flawless finish. Throughout the entire manufacturing process, OTR China implements rigorous quality control measures to uphold its reputation as a world-class wheel manufacturer. From raw material selection to final inspection, every step is meticulously executed to produce wheels that meet industry standards and exceed customer expectations. Moraske Kavarni stands as a beacon of precision and excellence in the realm of dye forging, anchored by a sophisticated array of forming technologies. Their forging shop brims with state-of-the-art machinery meticulously tailored to meet the demands of modern production. At the heart of the operation lie formidable spindle presses, ranging from 1,000 to 4,200 tons, alongside the robust crank presses, peaking at 2,500 tons. These powerhouses, coupled with exclusive induction heating for material preparation, empower the shop to manipulate ferritic perlitic steel with finesse. From initial hardening through refining and controlled cooling, the facilities orchestrate the metamorphosis of raw materials into superior dye forgings. Automation serves as a lie, with AB robots and manipulators seamlessly integrated into forging lines, ensuring not only efficiency but unwavering precision. Conventional heat processing finds its place in the electrical continuous furnaces, where tempering, annealing, and a suite of transformative treatments unfold. Post-forging, the forgings undergo meticulous scrutiny, from scale removal in sandblasting facilities to calibration, leveling, and perforating, whether through cold or hot processing. 
The commitment to quality resonates throughout the processes, with rigorous checks including 100% forging crack control, hardness assessments, spectral analysis for steel quality, and comprehensive mechanical property evaluations conducted in the metallographic and mechanical laboratory. The forging industry in the Czech Republic has a rich history dating back centuries, with significant developments occurring particularly in the 20th and 21st centuries. From traditional blacksmithing techniques to modern automated forging processes, the industry has evolved to become a vital component of the Czech Republic's manufacturing sector. Historical background. The Czech Republic has long been renowned for its skilled craftsmen and metallurgical expertise. Traditional blacksmiths played a crucial role in supplying tools, weapons, and other metal products to local communities. With the advent of industrialization in the 19th century, the forging industry began to mechanize, incorporating steam power and later electric power to increase production efficiency. The 20th century growth. The forging industry in the Czech Republic experienced significant growth during the 20th century, particularly in the interwar period and after World War II. The establishment of the first Czechoslovak Republic in 1918 provided a stable political and economic environment conducive to industrial development. During this time, several forging companies emerged, catering to both domestic and international markets. Post-World War II, after World War II, the Czech forging industry underwent further expansion and modernization. The communist regime that took control of Czechoslovakia nationalized many industries, including forging, leading to centralized planning and investment in heavy industry. This period saw the construction of large forging plants equipped with modern machinery and technology. Transition period. Following the Velvet Revolution in 1989 and the subsequent dissolution of Czechoslovakia in 1993, the Czech Republic underwent a transition to a market economy. This transition brought both challenges and opportunities for the forging industry. Many state-owned forging plants were privatized or restructured, leading to increased competition and a drive for efficiency and innovation.
Current state and statistics. As of the most recent data available, the Czech Republic's forging industry remains a significant contributor to the country's economy. According to the Czech Statistical Office, the manufacturing sector, which includes forging, accounted for approximately 30% of the country's GDP in 2020. Within the manufacturing sector, metal production and processing, including forging, represent a substantial portion of economic activity. Key statistics. Employment. The forging industry provides jobs to thousands of Czech workers. As of 2020, the manufacturing sector employed over 1.2 million people, with a significant portion working in metalworking and engineering industries, including forging. Exports. The Czech Republic is a major exporter of forged metal products. In 2020, the country exported over $15 billion worth of metal and metal products, including forged components. These exports are crucial for maintaining a positive trade balance and supporting economic growth. Investment. The Czech Republic has attracted significant investment in its forging industry, both from domestic and foreign sources. Investment in modern machinery, technology, and workforce training has helped enhance the industry's competitiveness on the global stage. Technological advancements. The Czech forging industry has embraced technological advancements to improve efficiency and product quality. Automation, robotics, and computer-aided design and manufacturing CAD, CAM, systems are increasingly utilized in forging processes, leading to higher precision and faster production times. Challenges and opportunities. Despite its strengths, the Czech forging industry faces several challenges, including global competition, fluctuating raw material prices, and the need to comply with environmental regulations. However, there are also significant opportunities for growth, particularly in sectors such as automotive, aerospace, and renewable energy, where demand for high-quality forged components is expected to increase. The Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic UBCR, holds a significant position in the country's forging industry, serving as a collective voice for blacksmiths, metalworkers, and artisans across the nation. Founded on principles of craftsmanship, tradition, and innovation, 
the UBCR plays a crucial role in preserving heritage techniques while also promoting advancements in forging technology and business practices. In this essay, we'll delve into the history, structure, activities, and impact of the Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic. Historical background. The roots of the Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic can be traced back to the long-standing tradition of blacksmithing in the region. For centuries, blacksmiths played a vital role in Czech society, crafting tools, weapons, decorative items, and other essential metal products. As industrialization swept through Europe in the 19th century, the craft of blacksmithing evolved, incorporating new technologies and techniques. Formation and development. The UBCR formally came into existence from many years ago, uniting blacksmiths from various regions of the Czech Republic under a single organization. Its formation was driven by the need to address common challenges faced by blacksmiths, including changes in market dynamics, technological advancements, and evolving customer preferences. By fostering collaboration and knowledge sharing, the UBCR aimed to strengthen the position of blacksmiths in the rapidly changing industrial landscape. Organizational structure. The Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic operates as a non-profit organization governed by a board of directors elected from among its members. The board sets strategic priorities, oversees operations, and represents the interests of the UBCR in external engagements. Additionally, the UBCR consists of regional chapters or guilds, each representing blacksmiths in a specific geographic area. These chapters serve as local hubs for networking, training, and community building activities. Activities and initiatives. The UBCR undertakes a wide range of activities and initiatives to support its members and promote the craft of blacksmithing. These include training and education. The UBCR organizes workshops, seminars, and apprenticeship programs to provide training in traditional blacksmithing techniques as well as modern forging methods. By investing in education, the UBCR ensures the continuity of craftsmanship and the transmission of knowledge to future generations. Promotion and marketing. The UBCR actively promotes the work of its members through exhibitions, trade fairs, and online platforms. By showcasing the artistry and skill of Czech blacksmiths, the UBCR enhances the visibility and marketability of their products both domestically and internationally.
Advocacy and Representation The UBCR represents the interests of blacksmiths in discussions with government agencies, industry associations, and other stakeholders. By advocating for favorable policies and regulations, the UBCR seeks to create a conducive environment for the growth and sustainability of the forging industry. Research and Innovation The UBCR collaborates with academic institutions, research organizations, and industry partners to drive innovation in forging technology and materials. By fostering research and development, the UBCR helps blacksmiths stay at the forefront of technological advancements and meet the evolving needs of customers. Impact and Contributions The Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic has made significant contributions to the development of the forging industry in the country. Its impact can be seen in various aspects. Preservation of heritage. By preserving traditional blacksmithing techniques and promoting cultural heritage, the UBCR ensures that centuries-old craftsmanship continues to thrive in the modern era. This preservation not only honors the legacy of past generations but also enriches the cultural fabric of Czech society. Skills development. Through its training programs and educational initiatives, the UBCR helps blacksmiths acquire new skills, expand their knowledge, and enhance their professional competence. By investing in skills development, the UBCR strengthens the overall quality and competitiveness of the Czech forging industry. Economic contribution. The UBCR plays a vital role in supporting the economic livelihoods of blacksmiths and metalworkers across the country. By promoting their work, facilitating access to markets, and advocating for fair trade practices, the UBCR helps sustain a vibrant ecosystem of small and medium-sized enterprises in the forging sector. Cultural Promotion The UBCR's efforts to promote the artistry and craftsmanship of Czech blacksmiths contribute to the promotion of Czech culture and identity both at home and abroad. Through their creations, blacksmiths tell stories, evoke emotions, and celebrate the rich cultural heritage of the Czech Republic. Challenges and future directions. Despite its achievements, the Union of Blacksmiths of the Czech Republic faces several challenges in its mission to promote and advance the craft of blacksmithing. These include technological disruption. The rapid pace of technological change poses challenges for traditional blacksmiths, requiring them to adapt to new tools, equipment, and processes. The UBCR must continue to invest in training and innovation to help its members stay competitive in a rapidly evolving industry.
market competition. Blacksmiths face competition from mass-produced, machine-made products, both domestically and internationally. The UBCR can help its members differentiate their offerings through craftsmanship, quality, and storytelling, thereby creating value for discerning customers. Environmental sustainability. Increasing concerns about environmental sustainability and resource conservation require blacksmiths to adopt eco-friendly practices and materials. The UBCR can support its members in adopting sustainable production methods and reducing their environmental footprint. Changing consumer preferences. Shifts in consumer preferences and lifestyles pose challenges for blacksmiths, who must adapt their designs and products to meet evolving demands. The UBCR can help its members understand market trends, conduct market research, and develop innovative product offerings that resonate with contemporary consumers. In the next section, we will visit a valves manufacturing factory in China, Double Lin. This is a forward-thinking enterprise that seamlessly integrates research and development, production, and trade within its expansive facilities spanning 30,000 square meters, featuring a substantial 40,000 square meters of building area across its two factories. This factory specializes in the manufacturing of a diverse range of products, including but not limited to ball valves, gate valves, stop valves, temperature control valves, and radiant floor heating systems. The hallmark of the factory's success lies in its commitment to leveraging cutting-edge technology to enhance both production efficiency and product quality. Employing world-class technical equipment, it ensures that all aspects of production, including the manufacturing of product accessories, are carried out independently and meticulously. By adhering to stringent quality control measures such as forging, impressing, tempering, and nickelizing, the company consistently delivers top-tier products that meet first-grade standards. Central to the factory's operations are its five series of specialized equipment, comprising machining automatic special machines, ball automatic special machines, valve rod full automatic special machines, PTFE seal ring special machines, and full automatic assembly lines. These state-of-the-art machines have revolutionized the manufacturing process, facilitating general working and automation while simultaneously optimizing efficiency and reducing labor costs. In pursuit of continuous improvement, the factory remains dedicated to addressing challenges inherent in the labor-intensive industry. By embracing the principles of general working and interworking of standard components, the factory's machining automatic special machines, 
equipped with manipulators and servo motors, execute precise processes to ensure uniformity and efficiency in product dimensions. This transformative approach streamlines the production process, enabling the conversion of rough materials into finished products with unparalleled speed and quality. Similarly, the Ball Automatic Special Machines employ a single-step process to shape critical dimensions, eliminating the need for multiple clamping and transfer processes. Leveraging diamond cutter bits, these machines guarantee the smoothness of product surfaces, thereby enhancing durability and service life. The factory's commitment to excellence extends to its valve rod special machines, which are sourced from Taiwan to address inefficiencies and inaccuracies associated with traditional equipment. Through equipment upgrades and integration, Double Lin ensures reliable performance and quality throughout every stage of production. Furthermore, the factory exercises meticulous control over the production of PTFE seal rings, procuring raw materials from trusted suppliers and employing one-step extrusion molding to optimize efficiency and quality. Humanized production lines and ergonomic design elements contribute to the durability and functionality of the final products. Rounding out its manufacturing capabilities, Double Lin's full automatic assembly lines, equipped with advanced technology from Italy, enable precise and efficient assembly with minimal human intervention. By harmonizing human and machine operations, the factory achieves unparalleled productivity and quality standards, setting the benchmark for excellence in the industry. The manufacturing process of elbows at Haitian pipe fittings begins with the selection and cutting of raw materials. These raw materials are precisely cut into the desired lengths, ensuring accuracy and consistency in the production process. Once the raw materials are cut to size, they undergo the forming process to give them the desired shape of an elbow. This is achieved through hot forming technique. The edges of the elbow are beveled to prepare them for welding or joining with other components. Beveling involves the removal of material from the edges at an angle, usually to facilitate smooth and strong weld joints. Shot blasting. Once the elbows are formed and beveled, they undergo a shot blasting process to remove any surface contaminants and improve the overall finish of the product. Shot blasting involves propelling abrasive materials at high velocity onto the surface of the elbows, effectively removing rust, scale, and other impurities. Marking. The final step in the manufacturing process is marking, where each elbow is stamped or labeled with essential information such as size, material grade. Steel T manufacturing involves the utilization of a press machine to fabricate T-shaped steel components used in various industrial applications, particularly in piping systems. The process begins with the selection of high-quality steel materials, which are then loaded into the press machine. The press machine applies hydraulic to shape the steel material into the desired T-shape configuration, using precision dies to ensure accurate dimensions and consistent quality. Techniques such as stamping, punching, or forming may be employed depending on the specific requirements of the steel tee. This manufacturing method allows for efficient production of durable and reliable steel tees suitable for withstanding high-pressure environments and harsh operating conditions, making them essential components in piping systems across various industries.
Application of straightening machine. Straightening machines are heavy machines mostly employed in metal working industries which are used to straighten or flatten different types of metal objects which otherwise would be very difficult to get them straightened. The rolled steel material gets deformed during cooling after rolling due to the residual stresses and often has the surface defects in cold conditions such as buckles, wavy edges, camber, crossbow, coil set, in case of coils, and many more. The metal straightening machines are used to straighten different types of metal objects like bars, plates, pipes, round bars made from different metals like steel, aluminum and other metals. Hydraulic cold billet shear. This shear is one of the indispensable machines in rolling mills. It is used to cut billets to size before rolling. Hydraulic billet shears eliminate burning loss as in case of gas cutting and result in substantial savings. It also saves the cost incurred on oxygen and DA, CNG, LPG, which results in substantial savings. The company's production activities primarily revolve around the manufacturing and exporting of various industrial fittings, including elbows, tees, and other specialized components. These products cater to a wide range of industries such as boiler manufacturing, heat exchangers, condensers, pulverizers, water treatment plants, sprinkler irrigation systems, steel plants, and the fertilizer industry. The production process involves several key steps. Material procurement. Sourcing high-quality raw materials is crucial to ensure the integrity and durability of the final products. This may involve procuring different grades of metals like stainless steel, carbon steel, or alloys depending on the specific requirements of the fittings. Precision machining. The raw materials undergo precision machining processes such as cutting, drilling, milling, and shaping to achieve the desired dimensions and specifications. Advanced machining tools and techniques are employed to ensure accuracy and consistency across batches. Forming and fabrication. Industrial fittings like elbows and tees often require forming and fabrication processes such as bending, welding, and forging to achieve their final shapes and configurations. Skilled technicians and specialized equipment are utilized to ensure seamless integration and structural integrity. Quality control. Throughout the production process, rigorous quality control measures are implemented to identify and rectify any deviations or defects. This includes dimensional inspections, material testing, weld examinations, and pressure testing to verify the strength and functionality of the fittings. Packaging and shipping. Once the products pass quality assurance checks, 
they are carefully packaged to prevent damage during transit. Customized packaging solutions may be employed to accommodate varying sizes and quantities of fittings. Efficient logistics management ensures timely delivery to customers both domestically and internationally. However, despite the company's commitment to quality and innovation, there may be certain production issues that need to be addressed. Supply chain challenges. Fluctuations in the availability and pricing of raw materials can impact production costs and lead times. The company must maintain robust supply chain management strategies to mitigate risks and ensure continuity of operations. Technical complexity. Manufacturing industrial fittings involves intricate designs and complex geometries, which may pose challenges in terms of machining, welding, and assembly. Continuous process optimization and employee training are essential to overcome technical hurdles and improve efficiency. Quality assurance. Maintaining consistently high quality standards across diverse product lines and customer requirements can be demanding. Any lapses in quality control can result in product defects, rework, and customer dissatisfaction. Therefore, investing in advanced testing equipment and fostering a culture of quality consciousness among employees is imperative. Market dynamics. The company operates in a competitive market environment characterized by evolving customer preferences, technological advancements, and regulatory changes. Staying abreast of industry trends and adapting production strategies accordingly is essential to remain competitive and sustain growth. 